Okay, here I'm going to trim my altered base. Because of the rippled rim, I'm not going to be able to use the water seal method that I prefer. So I'm actually going to use the clay lugs. And you can use clay lugs on any form if you like that method. So again, I'm centering, looking to see where the pot hits and misses my finger. And when it hits my finger, I will stop the wheel and push it in the opposite direction. So again, soft clay, and you want a little cup of water. And I'm going to stick it um, in the indentations. I think that will help. And so I squeeze it just enough that like, I can feel it stick to the wheel head, and I can also feel it stick to the pot. But I also leave my clay lugs kind of like up. I don't want to smash them down too much. I'm going to use four of them. equally spacing them apart. And then I have my trim tools. So my ribbons, my black trim tool, and my loop. I always get the wheel spinning before I start to trim. Otherwise your tool can catch the clay and get caught on the pot. And I just kind of start by resting my tool gently and then slowly applying pressure until I see the clay start to move through the tool. So I know that I'm actually removing clay. My hands are always moving slow and steady. I am choked up on the tool. which allows me to control my pressure and control the placement of the tool. I'm often tapping on the bottom of my pot because the louder and more hollow that it sounds, the closer I am to trimming through the bottom. You can also tap on the walls on the side and you can get the same effect. Now, I'm not gonna put a traditional ring on the bottom of this pot, but I do wanna take some weight out of the bottom. So I have set a little indentation or line and I am going to carve out the middle. So I'm starting in the middle of the pot, working towards the three, four o'clock position, using the flat part of the tool. And this will just lighten the form, kind of makes it feel a little bit more finished. Sometimes I do this on the bottom of my bottlenecks too but not always. Cleaning up that inner rim. And then I can peel off the lugs of clay. They might leave a little residue, but so long as your pot's truly leather hard, you'll be able to just like smear that off pretty quickly. So just some cleanup. And then you can see the bottom of the piece. 